Hi friends, it's Vanessa at McMath Library. Today I wanted to talk to you about a new project that we're going to be starting here and I hope you guys will be as excited about it as I am. So what we're trying to do is called Seed Library and what that entails is you basically come and borrow uh, up to five different types of seeds at one time and then after your plants grow and you harvest them um, you bring some seeds back to us so the seed library continues on so first of all i'm sure you're like why are we talking about saving seeds anyway um there's a lot of reasons so the biggest thing is of course to feed yourself and others in your community obviously but it will also increase the diversity of your own seed stock. And then something else that's really cool is when you grow your own plants locally, the seed stock that you develop is going to be more resilient and adaptable to our particular climate and soil, which is really helpful. So the basics of our seed library, this fine display we have here, um, you're, going to borrow some and you're going to bring some back. Um, now this is a time to note that we only accept heirloom and non-GMO seeds. There's a long reason for that too. Um, what we do ask is that you fill out a membership record and it basically just gives us a little information about you um, and explains what we're doing and uh, you can also tell us if you'd like to be contacted about swamps or classes or things like that the important part is on the back this is your seed record and it's got a column for showing what you borrow and then also what you're going to be returning a very important part of this when you return your seeds is to give us as much information about your seeds as you can so obviously you want to know the plant name the variety if you can provide the year and the location that it was harvested that'd be great and any other notes that you may want to contribute the bags that we will provide for you to uh, return seeds in if you would like to use them have all of that information um, as well as things like you can include like plant spacing or when it's going to sprout temperature seed depth how much will sun it needs um, so that's something that you can pick up and use to put your seeds that you're bringing back. You don't have to use this. You can bring any kind of envelope or plastic bag, but it's really helpful for us to have all this information. So for your first time harvesting seeds, you're going to want to stick with things that are really easy, like beans, lettuce, tomato, peas. These are plants that are going to be less likely to cross pollinate with other plants in the same family. Um, there are some plants that are considerably more difficult to harvest their seeds, and we can get into that at another time. But for your first time harvesting, go with some easier stuff. If you can't or don't want to harvest your own seeds, but you still want to borrow some of our seeds, that's fine. It would be really nice if you brought us some packages of seeds that you can just purchase, again, as long as they're heirloom and non-GMO. Um, or even just consider volunteering. That would, that would be helpful as well. And as far as volunteering goes, uh, we have opportunities for you to teach classes if you're interested in that. Any help you want to give us sorting seeds and repackaging them. If you want to do like a mentoring program and you want to be a mentor, that would be helpful. Um, another need that we also have is translating all of this information into Spanish as well. So, resources for you. We're going to, I'm going to attach the Biblio Commons list to this video and it will have websites and books and things that you can check out from us and that will help you out. Um, we also have like handouts on what zone we're in, when to plant certain things, um, how to harvest by plant type. So we'll have all of these handouts for you to take as well. Um, and then some things to look forward to is, you know, classes. Um, we'd like to have some maybe on germinating seeds or seed collecting strategies. 
um, general gardening tips. So if you're interested in hosting anything like that, just reach out to us. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit about our seed library. So right now we have veggies, fruits, herbs, and flowers. Seeds are organized in that they are alphabetical with the common name and then by the variety. So like under the category of tomato, you're going to start with Amish paste is gonna come before beefsteak. Beefsteak will be followed by Chico. And that's basically how they're organized in our system. Another resource that we're going to have for you is if you're more of a visual person, we have saved all the um, packets that have been donated to us. So you can see nice glossy pictures and then in addition to the information that we have recorded on the individual seed packets that you can borrow from us, there's just a little bit more in-depth information on the back of this. I'm super excited about this. I hope you are too. I really look forward to pursuing this project with you guys. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see us pick up as far as different varieties of seeds or if you think something might work a little bit better for the seed library, please feel free to reach out and let me know. This is my first time doing anything like this and I will take as much help as I can get. So hope to see you soon and come check out some seats. Bye.